Hello friends, welcome to our channel. So in today's session, let us have a look on one more concept in C programming that is recursion. So in the previous sessions we have seen uh, the different types of loops. So a loop is executing same set of statements continuously or repeatedly. That we call it as a loop. So here similarly in the functions concept it, we call it as a recursion. If the say if, if one function calls itself then we call it as a recursion. So we have covered the functions concept. So here the function may be a uh, user defined function. So in the main function we have to write the function call and outside the main function we have to write the function definition. So immediately whenever the control reaches the function call immediately the control moves on to the function definition and then the function definition will be again executed immediately after the function definition it uh, the control will go back to the parent function so either it may be a main function or another user defined function similarly here the recursion means calling the same function itself repeatedly we call it as a main form recursion so for example in the main function, if we write this function call recursion, so this is called a function call. So we have to write the logic for this recursion, right? So after the main function. So here I am writing recursion function. In this recursion function, again I am calling the same function. That means again I am calling the recursion function right so such type of logic we call it as a recursion so whenever the control reaches this recursion automatically the control will move to the function definition and immediately after moving to the recursion I mean uh, the control will start executing this user defined function so immediately again there is a recursion call so again the control will start executing this recursion function. So this will be continuously done until the exit condition appears. So here we have to take care that in this recursion function there must be the exit condition. So we have to write the exit condition. If you are unable to write this exit condition, if you failed to, uh, I mean if you failed to write the exit condition and this process will be executed repeatedly that means it will go to the infinite infinite times it will be executed so there will be no stop right never ending process it's called a never ending process so compulsory we have to write one exit condition in this recursion function so without this exit condition this recursion will give the result as an infinite execution so hope you understood so function calling itself is called recursion function calling itself is called recursion function so for this the best example is a factorial finding the factorial So we know that finding the factorial, factorial means if we give the 4, the 4 factorial is 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. Right? So from starting from the 4, we have to product each and every number until we reach 1. So this can be implemented by using this recursion function. So already we have seen this factorial implementation by using iterations. So we have taken one loop and we are incrementing one variable. So starting from one, we are incrementing one variable continuously re uh, executing the multiplication, performing the multiplication operation. We will get the factorial result. But here, by using the recursion, we can simplify the program. See, first, uh, let us write the factorial program using the recursion.
so n consider n so we have to find the factorial for this n so for i is equal to 1 i less than or equal to n so because if n is equal to 5 the answer must be 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 so we have to start from 1 to that particular number so i is equal to 1 to that particular number so factorial is equal to factorial into i right so initially i mean declare all the variables here in n i fact is equal to 1 if fact is equal to 0 the here we are performing the product so it will be always 0 right so printf factorial is equal to percentage d percentage i mean sorry fact so this gives a simple logic for finding the factorial of given number so here possibly we have to consider this fact as a long int because so here if, if you declare this fact as int see here fact is an output variable so this output variable can hold up to 32,000 value that means the integer range so we can get the factorial result up to 8 right or 7 so 7 factorial we will get the correct appropriate correct result and if you consider n is equal to 8 this program will give the wrong in uh, i mean uh, incorrect result because the range will be exceeding the data type so fact will be taken as long in and here you can use an ld so if the same program is executed by using the recursion so main function read the value ampersand n so i have to find the factorial fact is equal to result is equal to factorial of n so this is the function call right so here we can write printf percentage d result so we can take ld and result as a long int in order to get the correct one so we have to write the function definition for this factorial so factorial int n so here if n is equal to is equal to 1 simply return 1 else simply return n into factorial of n minus 1 see so here this is this one is the exit condition this one is the exit condition so if n is equal to 1 return 1 so if n is not equal to 1 return n into factorial n minus 1 that means in the first iteration if n is equal to 4 in the first iteration we will get 4 into factorial of 3 next 4 into second iteration 4 into 3 into factorial of 2 next iteration 4 into 3 into 2 into factorial of 1 so here n is equal to 1 so this is n is equal to 3 and n is equal to 2 now n is equal to 1 automatically if n is equal to 1 return 1 so obviously we will get so 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 so this we will get the result 24 so this is by using iterations this is by using recursions right so calling the same function itself here in the factorial function again we are calling the same function 
so that's why this logic we call it as a recursion function so hope you understood this is a simple uh, logic so, uh, and if you really understood my videos like my videos share my videos with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you for listening thank you very much